Hi, Kevin Kimmel with Yamaha Commercial Audio here in Chicago. We're downtown in a really big arena, and uh, it is the Willow Creek 40th anniversary event. I'm here with Ron Cook at front of house. He's mixing front of house on uh, the maiden voyage for PM10 on a live event. It's a test run, but it's a pretty serious test run. We're expecting 25,000 people here tonight. So, Ron, you've had a pretty rigorous uh, set of rehearsals this last week and, uh, and uh, today. So um, tell me what you think of the desk. Uh, I think it's great. The first things I really love, of course, is the silk. Um, just the smoothness that it provides and that, I mean, you can just turn it on, tweak it up a little bit, and you almost feel like you're 40% there with whatever the source is before you've done anything else. Um, the, uh, a lot of the plugins are great that you can put them anywhere. All the new ones, the, uh, the new VQs and compressors are great. Um, Loving the faders. The faders just feel so good, so smooth. Um, very subtle adjustments that you can do, and the reaction of the console is just so so great. Cool. So you guys are running, what, 120-plus input, something like that? Okay. And you've got, uh, the so far, the world's largest STM rig uh, that's been assembled. We're in the round today. So this is your first time on STM, as I understand it. Tell me, what do you think about mixing on STM? Uh, so far, it's felt really smooth. Um, I was kind of prepared to like having to deal with some stuff and work harder. And for the most part, it feels like I've just been able to walk up and start mixing, and it's uh, been a wonderful thing. Cool. What was your, okay? So, what was your very first impression when you first walked up to Rivage, and and you had to figure it out and lay, get the lay of the land? Did it come to you pretty quickly? Being you know a Yamaha background and CL5s came very quickly. Um, Obviously, there's new stuff and deeper, you know, more more things in it. But what would you say? The structure of it is very similar, so that um, pretty much could easily find things on my own. Cool. So um, also, there's the um, there's the big selected channel like uh, PM1D, and and it's got things from 5 DM DM2000. Have you noticed some of those things as well? Yeah. Um, it, although it's not in the same ar arrangement like the 1D. You do have a selected channel with all the uh, tactile knobs and stuff, and um, taking me a little bit to get used to it. But once I'm on it, it's it, everything's right in front of you and just you know right at your reach. Pretty intuitive. Very intuitive. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Until next time. Signing off.